Welcome back to Sea Things. Today we have a new and improved version of Bruce, our first motorboat. I already 3D printed it and I'm aiming to solve all the issues that we had. So first of all, uh, I had to move the battery to the back to put more weight and this time this boat has been designed to have already all the, bat uh, the batteries and all the electronics in the back and the motor at the front. In addition, I made the space for the motor much larger and instead of uh, designing a custom uh, space for a specific motor, I'm just using these two mounting holes so I can use any motor provided I print a bracket for it. The uh, coupling is also different, so instead of using one that is glued to the shaft of the motor, I'm using one that can be uh, screwed on it so I can easily take things apart. And lastly, to prevent water from entering, that was the, mo the worst problem with the first version, that the water was entering from this hole and from the propeller shaft. Now I've made this uh, thing here, if I can get it out, which basically holds uh, this o-ring inside, and the o-ring seals the uh, propeller shaft to the uh, housing of the propeller shaft so no water should be able to come in here and most of all I don't need this back hole because the servo motor for the rudder is mounted inside the hull so let's see how this uh, compares to our old version <laughs>
We were discussing what kind of propeller uh, should we install on Bruce the second and we decided to take this opportunity to run some experiments. So what we did was to print four different propellers, uh, all different among themselves. So we have two propellers with three blades and two propellers with two blades and they're also different in profiles. So these two have a straight profile while this one and this one have more of a curve to the blade profile and we were betting on this one to be the faster but we'll see how it ends so what we did was to take Bruce the second out for a run and we selected a straight path in a canal and we had him run the path uh, multiple times and we were switching the propellers in between runs and in the end we measured times and to avoid any bias due to the um, battery and the amount of charge in the battery what we did was to reverse the order so the first propeller we used was also the last one to make sure that what well, it was running both on the highest amount of battery and the lowest amount of battery and in the end as you can see when the data came in there was um, clearly a difference between the propellers with a curved profile and, a pro and the propellers with a straight profile and the propellers with the curved profile tend to move faster and surprisingly the one that was the fastest was the one with two blades and a curved profile so thank god we didn't bet because we would have lost and yeah